Sue's in there right now, finding out when her surgery is going to be. Picked up by our driver, take us over to Juarez to go to the dentist. Oh, 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 oh. surgery center. Sue's in there right now finding out when her surgery is going to be. As full-time RVers uh, we have to worry about our, our insurance. Mine is Medicare but Sue's not old enough for that so she has Blue Cross Blue Shield HMO and because Texas is our home state her HMO is in Texas so that's why we had to come back here for the surgery. We're supposed to be here two months. Hopefully she can get the surgery and recovered in time for us to head west to Tucson in December. It's a little bit nerve-wracking right now while we're waiting. Sue got her insurance through Obamacare. All right, we're getting ready to get picked up by our driver, take us over to Juarez to go to the dentist. Well, people are worried about going to Juarez, but the crime is really down over there. And now that we've got a super nice driver who picks us up, takes us over there, drops us right at the dentist door. Today I'm getting a bridge done that's going to be around 500. I'm getting a discount because they had done an implant and my bone uh, was not strong enough to hold the screw. These people are super nice. The place is very clean. They speak English. Found this dental office on uh, Google Maps and they had great reviews. I've ridden over there with lots of other Americans. People have flown in from Maine. Hey everybody. Before we go to Mexico, I want to take a minute and ask you to give me thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That will really help so that more people will be able to see these uh, videos. Also, I wanted to explain to you that I put links to uh, a lot of the campgrounds, links to this dentist, uh, and links to all the different products that we use. Uh, down below. So if you go with your computer or with your phone, you can click on more information and it spreads out and shows you all that other information. Get back to the video going to Mexico. Thanks everybody. Hello everybody. Want to see?
you back home safe and sound. Only thing is, they put so much Novocaine in, my mustache is tilted. Took out a stroke or something. Uh, they stopped at a pharmacy on the way back, and boy, that is a deal. I mean it. I got inhalers uh, for my asthma. Uh, we got Prilosec, all kinds of medicine uh, for only 70 bucks. That would have been hundreds, if not a thousand dollars here in America. Anyway, I go back on Friday at one to get the bridge put in. Right now, I've just got some plastic coating over the two teeth. Not very comfortable. This here is stuff I take for my allergies. It's an inhaler. It cost over $300 for one. Now, I know my health insurance pays half of it in the beginning and then eventually goes down to like $80 toward the end of the year. But I spend thousands of dollars on this medication. When I went to Mexico, I stopped at a pharmacy and I had them give me this, which is totally compatible. In fact, according to uh, information on the internet, this medication is more effective than the other. This costs me less than $20 for one of these. So I can buy 12 of these $240, less than the price of one of these. Crazy. Just doesn't make any sense. But I recommend that you pick up any medication that you can in Mexico. Now this is the trick. Most of these pharmacies, uh, they all speak Spanish. So if you can't speak Spanish, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Fortunately, when we go to the dentist, the driver that takes us over, he's bilingual and he's able to interpret for me. What I have done is on my phone put in large print the, the names of the medications that I want. And I hold that up to the pharmacist and she reads and she's able. The only problem is though, is like they only had three of these and I couldn't understand what she was saying or why she only had three, if there was a limit or what. So it's good to have that uh, person with you. I know on Google, there's a translate app. I haven't really tried that yet, but that could work too. Okay, we're still here in the El Paso RV park and it's not much. It's just a big gravel lot. Um, all the people over on those rows and on the back rows here are all permanent. And then these spots that are right beside me fill up each night and then empty out the next morning. Uh, today I'm going to work on lubricating the awning. That's in my maintenance schedule. I'll show you that little app and how I keep track of all these different preventative maintenance things. All right, let's get this uh, lubricated. It's just a few points that I do uh, lubricate just a few areas. Got my trusty ladder out here. I really don't know how to get into this area other than just spraying right in here because that's where it rolls up. Spray these other joints right in here. This uh, all-in-one RV cleaner, it's silicone lube, which is good because it doesn't make a big mess. You notice here this plastic piece, those cover the wires that go up in there. They came out and I resealed, glued them in with caulk. Supposedly you can turn this thing and spread, the, shrink this in or out, but it's a big stinking hassle. Anyway, I'll lubricate these spots all up along here. And I have to do it on the other side, and I should be done. Getting ready to go back to Mexico. I had this uh, teeth ground down. Now I gotta go back and get the bridge put on. It kind of looks like it's gonna be raining too. That's gonna be fun walking back, back across the border. Sue didn't go with me. She didn't need any more work to be done. I'll take you along. Maybe we'll see something different than last time. Sal de tu nido, paloma linda, anda y prueba tu volar. No tengas miedo, mi palomita. Que nada te va a pasar Anda y prueba tus alas bonitas Sin que el temor te limite Vuela paloma bien
en alto mi vida No dudes que siempre amanece Today I uh, took Sue to the doctor She had to get some tests done I'll be taking her back on November 2nd for her surgery for relax a little bit then we're in Park Casino she's gonna get make some money in there and they got an old amusement park right across the street crazy part is this is in New Mexico it's right next to El Paso the mountain over there is in Mexico and we're in New Mexico might go downtown and go to this really cool Mexican restaurant we do that I'll video that for you so kind of different surrounding around here different view of the mountains This is the famous Concordia Cemetery where the gunfighter John Wesley Hardin is buried, along with Buffalo Soldiers, Texas Rangers, Civil War veterans, and early Mormon pioneers. favorite Mexican restaurant in El Paso. You can get chicken enchiladas with green sauce and eggs. So this place used to be called Tony's Place. Bootlegging was popular. But it's always been known for good cooking, and that was in 1927. It said that the cavalry was stationed in Fort Bliss, and that the regulars would always, soldiers would come down here, tie their horses to the hitching post. They would sit down in old metal wash tub basins while sipping home brew and some home cooking. That was during the Great Depression. Mm -hmm. 